Hi guys, so this is the third episode and today I'm going to talk about the editing tools here. The first thing we're going to talk about is uh, those tools here. So we have the trim tool, we have the selector and we have the grabber tool. And then you have the smart tool which combine all those three together. So then you can fade, you can grab and drag around, you can select, etc, etc. You know all this. So I'm just going to explain how it works in Cubase and Uendo. So first of all, Steinberg just updated Cubase, okay? And in this update, they created what is called the Combine Tool. So the Combine Tool is basically the same thing as the Smart Tool, which combines multiple tools together. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you uh, this uh, screenshot from the Cubase YouTube channel. Of the object selection tool, and this will put it into a combined mode. We could also do this by holding down Alt. But we have this in a combined mode. It's broken down into two zones. The upper zone will function as the range selection tool, and the bottom zone is the object selection tool. Okay, so basically what they did is just to create a smart tool in Cubase. Now the problem is that they always first update Cubase and then a few months later they update Nuendo because uh, most of the Steinberg clients are Cubase users, okay? And then Nuendo is more like a niche. I don't have the combined tool, but basically if you're going to buy Cubase and you're going to buy the latest version, you're going to have this combined tool, which is like the smart tool. If, you, if you're going to, to buy Nuendo, you'll have to wait a few more months, okay? So in Nuendo, you have the object selection tool, which is the equivalent of the grabber tool. And in this tool, you can also fade and you can also trim, okay? So you can do all those things with the object selection tool. And then if you want to go to the equivalent of the selection tool in Pro Tools, you're going to have to go to the range tool. Okay, so the range tool is like the selection tool of Pro Tools. And then you can just select and grab things around. Okay, so they combine those two and we are still waiting for the upgrade. Let's continue and talk about the editing tools here. First of all, each and every one of the editing tools has a number. So erase is five, split is three, etc., etc. So you can play with this. We talked about the most important uh, two, which are the object selection tool and the range tool. Now, if you click here on the object selection tool, you have two more options. Sizing moves contents. If I cut this, okay, and then I move the start of the event, you will see all its content move with him. So the start point stays the same and the event is shrinking. Okay, very handy. And if you want to resize, to stretch or squeeze your event, then you can click here and you can resize it. Once you resize it, you will have this little waves icon here. Now, you, if you stretch, you need to change the algorithm according to uh, the content of what you are stretching. If it's a song, you can choose time. If it's a vocal, you can choose, choose maybe pitch. Uh, sometimes tape will do the trick. You have all kinds of algorithms here. You can really achieve a high quality sound by playing and changing and checking those algorithms. The draw tool, you can just draw automations. Uh, the erase tool, you can erase stuff, but I never use this. I just choose what I want to erase and press delete. You have the split tool. Now, the split tool is basically allows you to split things, which is nice. But what's interesting about it is that if you are on snap-on mode, okay, you use the split tool 
and then you have the grid so the grid here is two frames let's make it one second so now my uh, cursor will move one second each time it means that you can't cut between those seconds you can cut only on those seconds so what you can do in this mode is hold option and click and then you have all your events split it according to the grid next tool is the glue now if you split something and you go to the glue you can glue it back okay and if you split something and you move the content okay you change something here you can glue it and then these two events become one event and it's the equivalent of the group feature in Pro Tools what you can do is now move those two together and if you want to ungroup them you can go to audio dissolve parts okay and then it comes back to the way it was before all right a uh, mute just mutes things you have the zoom tool now I never use this because I just have the G and the H and you can also press command and use the mouse wheel now you have the warp tool the warp tool allows you to warp and move the grid okay I'm not going to go into a deep explanation about this but basically it's something that uh, it's more for music purposes uh, to change tempo and adjust the tempo to your events this mode here you can change to line parabola sine triangle and square basically lets you uh, draw things in a particular shape okay so parable line triangle very useful the play tool is like the scrubber tool okay you have, you have two modes you can just uh, hold click and it will play it and you have also a uh, scrubber tool which is exactly like the scrubber tool in a uh, nuendo okay the last one is the color tool the color tool depends on the color chosen here so let's say for example first of all I'm going to deselect this event and deselect this track okay so I'm going to select now a color let's say for example yellow okay my, my color tool is going to be yellow and then I can choose a let's say I have multiple events I go to the color tool and I choose this one to be yellow and this one to be yellow so that was a quick explanation about the editing tools uh, of course there are a lot of other uh, features and options and things that you can do with those tools and next time we're going to talk about the second part which is all those buttons here and how to achieve the same features in Uendo.